Hi, Dr. Schneider. Want to make a teaching video? Yes, I'm interested. How do I do that? Let's call Hollywood. I think that's a good idea. Isn't that expensive? Ever have that perfect idea for a teaching video, but you're afraid it's going to be expensive or hard to make? Well, let me tell you, you don't need Hollywood to make a video. In fact, you probably have everything you need on your computer already. You can make an excellent video just using PowerPoint. In this example, I'm making a short teaching video of a tyrosine kinase cascade. The animation pane lets you add motion. And in the slideshow tab, you can record the timing of the slideshow. Once you're done, you just export the video and you see your completed project. Now, how did I make that video I just showed you? I used a screen capture software called Active Presenter. It's available for free for PC and Mac users. Once you download and install it, you select Record a Software Demonstration. As soon as you hit the record button, the program records whatever's inside that green box. And can export it in several video formats. If you combine screen capture software with drawing software like Paint, you can make Khan Academy style videos simulating giving a chalk talk. On that note, you may have seen videos online of a person drawing out a description of a topic with a marker. Some of these really involve a person drawing out a description, but there's also software like Videoscribe which can simulate this effect if you're interested in that. How about a video camera? Now if you want to record live action, it's a common misconception that you need a fancy video camera. Here are two side-by-side -side examples that I shot with my cell phone on the right and my mirrorless camera on the left. While there is a difference, factors like lighting and background are much more important. To summarize, when you think about videos, screen capture and PowerPoint go a long way and can be very powerful for diagrams and demonstrations. If you're shooting live action, a cell phone is completely sufficient for video capture and factors like lighting and background are much more important considerations. How about a fancy microphone? I'm here at the medical school to talk about different audio capture devices. You could just use the audio from whatever camera you're using, but that tends to be far away and can be distant, especially with all this air conditioner and bus noises here at the medical school. Another option is to get a USB condenser microphone. These run anywhere from $50 to $100. Uh, and can deliver very high audio, but can pick up a lot of very minute background noise. This is very good for narration. Maybe the easiest option is to just get one of these lavalier microphones, or lapel microphones, and they plug straight into a cell phone, and you can record reasonably high quality audio. Most of the audio I've recorded was from one of these microphones. Finally, if you had to, you could probably just do it from your laptop microphone. But again, this is gonna sound distant, and you'll have that background hiss. Although this comes as a surprise to some, audio is much more important than video. When you're recording, don't do what I did. Find an area without a lot of background noise, avoid unnecessary silence, and consider investing in either a lapel microphone, the one I used was about $15, or a USB microphone if you're narrating, which can run anywhere from $50 to $100. I've put links to products I recommend in the bottom. Who's gonna edit it? Now, when it comes to editing, you have some options, but there's a much bigger learning curve. If you're using a Mac, definitely go with iMovie. It's powerful, it's intuitive, and it's free. If you're using a PC, there are several free options, including a Vitamux for very simple editing, or things like Kden Live or Shotcut for more advanced editing. I used Shotcut to make this video, and all of those links are below. If you wanted to, you can go out and buy much more expensive software for editing, like Adobe Premiere, but whatever you use, there's still gonna be a learning curve. 
Well, that's it. You made it. I guess there might be a little more to it than that. But the main thing is, the idea is the hardest part. Once you have an idea, just try something. Any video is better than no video at all. In the description below the video, I've put links for different microphones and the software I've used. Give it a shot. If any questions come up, feel free to just email me here at Emory, M-A-K-B-A-S-H at Emory.edu. I look forward to hearing from you.